Good. So welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Paul Motley, and I'm a junior Kotlin uh, developer at Mikuri. And um, yeah, um, in the real world, when we are mixing uh, Cocoa and Expresso, then we get Mochaccino. And the reason why we are here that um, we want to find out what will happen if we are doing the same in the Android world. So what will happen if we are mixing these together? Um, and uh, yeah, I um, joined uh, to Makery in April, and uh, one of our client is an e-scooter sharing uh, company, and uh, we uh, we are developing an application to them that can help uh, the mechanics and uh, the managers in their work. And this Android application is really UI heavy, so most of the data is coming from the backend, and at the time when I joined, uh, we have not any UI test at all. So we had a really uh, strong need to develop uh, in that area. So, uh, but we also tried to find a way how we can do it in a maintainable form, uh, because may most of the know, uh, most of us know Expresso, and uh, it's not really a, very readable or maintainable. It can uh, be really ugly uh, after time if you have more and more tests. So, yeah, uh, the question is, uh, can we make it the UI test again? Uh, if it's actually possible or not, uh, we will find out. So, um, one of my colleagues told me about uh, this Cocoa library, and I just give it a try and uh, check but it's actually. So, Coco is uh, maintained and created by Agoda, what is a um, uh, booking uh, company. They have more than 1,000 UI tests, and they are realized in Expresso, and they are realized that this is really not maintainable, and they have some other way uh, to, to develop this one to maintain this. Uh, so many tests. So that's why they are created uh, this library, actually. So that was the purpose behind of that. And uh, okay, why, why this is good? So why uh, we should start to work with that? Oh, the clicker. Ah, yes. So um, actually, uh, those who are not familiar with Express, so this is actually a simple case. So at the first line, we have a view mature uh, with the some view and the with ID function, what we receive, um, that view ID. And then we are doing just two simple uh, assertion. Um, we are checking the visibility and the text of that view. So OK, that seems to me really simple, but uh, already we have uh, a boilerplate codes uh, with the check and matches. And uh, if you have a lot of view on a screen, then that can be really ugly. So just a quick look how it looks like in Expresso. Uh, so actually, that's all. So we, we have, uh, OK, not, not this is the whole story, but it's the first time that uh, we have this title text. Um, and inside, we can do this two assertion. What will do the same? Uh, what we did previously in Expresso. Uh, I will just uh, let you know how this is possible. So, um, yeah, if we are checking these two methods and uh, check their implementation, then we can see that these two, uh, so the is visible and has text functions, actually is doing the same what, Expre uh, what we did previously with Expresso. Um, so these are the same view matures uh, what is coming from Expresso. Uh, so the first uh, great thing is that Coco is actually an abstraction on the top of uh, Expresso, what we have. Um, so yeah, but this is not even the cherry on top. So yeah, uh, how we can, okay. <laughs> so how we can do this, um, actually you can see that we have a welcome screen class. Uh, what we can define separately uh, from the testing. So in that class, uh, we will define these two uh, objects, what is the title, text, view, and the snack bar, because why not? And actually, we are, doing the view we are using the view matures here. So you can see that uh, we will find the title text and the snack bar 
based on the ID or content description or you have some other choices. Actually, you have everything what uh, you could use in Express. So, um, so when after that, um, you created that screen, then um, you can see in the tests, um, we are uh, creating an instance of uh, that screen and uh, doing the assertions. So actually, it's, that's all. Um, it's much more readable. And uh, here, the other uh, great point of that library that we can uh, create another instance from another screen. So we don't need to always uh, find the views, what we want to use. Um, it's enough just uh, at once. So we are defining all the views in one screen. Then if we are needed, we are using on the tests. If, we are, uh, if it's needed, it's, uh, it's somewhere else, then we can uh, refer to these objects uh, via its screen class. So that's why uh, it's really uh, reusable um, if you are using uh, or doing the testing like this. Um, yeah. And uh, the other great things in Express so that the adapters, so whoever is, uh, did some testing in Express so and tried to test a recycle view item or a, an adapter item, then actually it's a pain. So, okay, now this example is a really short one. Um, so here we just uh, looking for this recycle view and uh, scrolling to that position and whenever we reach that, then we will uh, do this assertion uh, on the item text. But um, this is just only one item, only one case. So what will we, if we want to do it uh, with all the items, what we have in the recycle view, then it's become more and more and more. And even if uh, here we have just one assertion and nothing all that, it's already a really um, ugly one. And if we are uh, checking, then, uh, so uh, this screen uh, is something similar what we uh, saw previously, but here we have a really huge difference. So we have this uh, K recycle view uh, class, and uh, we can pass an item type as a parameter to it. And um, yeah, we can define this uh, inner item class and um, define all the views that we have on that item. So uh, that item class is representing only one item in the recycle view, uh, but we give it as an item type, so Coco will know it that this uh, recycle view is built from this item. And actually, it's, uh, first of all, it's much more better because also, again, we don't need to use these own views and all the view matchers uh, because we can uh, find these views much more uh, easier. But uh, also, we uh, got some access source. So you can see that inside my test, uh, in the recycle view, we have a child, uh, children accessor. Uh, what actually is uh, maybe obvious, it will uh, do the assertion in all the children what uh, the recycle view has. So in that case, we checking that all the item is displayed and uh, then we uh, do an assertion that those items text contains uh, the name and the email or whatever you want. But uh, also we have some other uh, access source like first child or last child or child that and we can provide the positions. So actually uh, we don't need to do this uh, perform uh, and then uh, call the scrolling and find that item and do the assertion. Coco will do it uh, for us in the same way as, uh, as we can do it with Expresso, but fortunately we don't need to write this uh, part of the code. So yeah, and uh, a real solution, um, what is coming from uh, that project um, where I work, um, that um, we have a screen and it has two separate tabs. And um, one of the tab uh, sometimes um, can show a warning, so an icon next to the title. And we want to check uh, this uh, functionality, we want to test it, and we have to make sure that it's uh, working as accepted. So yeah, uh, Coco is really great, but it don't uh, have this kind of assertion. And um, why I'm telling this, because we can, 
uh, write the same uh, custom matchers what we are using with Expresso. So in the first uh, part, we can write this uh, tab icon visibility method and uh, passing the tab uh, index and the visibility. And then, of course, we are overriding this match safely method and uh, uh, yeah, that will receive the layout and then get the tab from there based on the index that we passed and uh, do the assertion to that icon. We just want to check in that it's visible or not and that's all. And this is actually the same if you are using in Expresso, so you have to write exactly the same uh, matchers. But at the end, because of its Kotlin and because of uh, the DSL uh, language, then we can and do an, uh, we can create an extension function, and um, yeah, we just passing the tab index, and uh, we are doing the same what Coco did um, in case of the is visible or has text method. So we just actually call this view uh, object uh, and call the check function and uh, pass this view assertion. So actually, it's really working well uh, with the Expresso uh, uh, features. So yeah, of course, if you want to check the not visible part, then you need just uh, put the wall things in the not function and then it will also work for you. And inside our tests, we can again call this screen and um, then uh, we can f refer to this tab layout and uh, do the assertion with the is tab visible method and passing uh, the ID of the tab, but we can uh, check for the assertion. So, yeah, actually the good thing behind of that, if you are switching uh, from Expresso uh, to Cocoa, then you don't need to throw out all these custom matchers, so you can reuse them and uh, build inside, and at the end you will get a much more uh, readable code. <coughs> yeah, and uh, at the end I just uh, collected all the pros and cons, so, this uh, Coco library is an open source one. Uh, actually, I uh, checked the, their GitHub page and mostly they are doing uh, releases in every quarter. So fortunately, it's not an abandoned or outdated library. They are uh, working uh, on that recently, so that's really good news. And they are, as uh, we could see that uh, it can really improve the readability and uh, the reusability of our tests. And yeah, it's, I think, a really good uh, point that also that uh, it's an extensible DSL. Oops. And um, yeah, the contrary is that, okay, this is not a silver bullet, so of course it won't solve every uh, issue with Expresso. So you have to deal with resource idling, or um, you have to um, make sure that um, your test is not flaky, so Coco won't solve those kind of issues, but uh, it makes your code um, really readable. And uh, yeah, it's much more maintainable in that way. And uh, yeah, inside that, um, I just want to highlight that most of the views are uh, supported by this Coco. So um, the library is making uh, in own, so it's making their own views. Uh, so, for example, edit text, uh, title text button is also uh, supported, so those are the basics one, but we have some special like alert dialog or web view. Um, the differences between these classes, actually it's not so big, so most of the cases you get some plus methods. So, for example, if you are creating a K image view, then you can call uh, the has drawable function on that object and check it's drawable, but you don't have this method if you are creating a K text view. But yeah, if you have a view that is not supported, then you can always use this K view because this is uh, the parent of any other view. So it's similar like uh, we are working uh, with Android. And um, I try to find some views that are not exactly supported. Those maybe we can uh, mention the snack bar and toast. So right now these are not exactly available, but it's an open source, so you have always the chance to um, 
clone the repository and <laughs> and do the work and yeah they are really open and uh, um, yeah they are welcome every help and effort um, yeah I think I was <laughs> really <laughs> quick but um, yeah, I don't know do you have any questions um, yeah so if you make an assertion in uh, espresso, you write you dot check, right? Yeah. And uh, when you do this in uh, Coco, you just write this in is visible method at the end. Uh, and it's not really clear that you are making uh, an, asser uh, an assumption at that point, an assertion at that point. Was uh, this an issue for you? So right, you want to separate the setup phase of your test and the assertion phase? And I'm not sure if it was you know, made any, uh, made things confusing for the, uh, the ones who read your tests? Uh, actually, um, so right now we have all the packages and we have the tests and next to the text we have the screen classes. So you can always find all uh, the views in that screen class uh, next to the tests. And the reason why I think it's good to separate the assertion and, uh, and the matchers, because if you are uh, organize uh, the matchers into the separate file, then you can use it somewhere else. So uh, those matchers not uh, constrained to that test, what is using that. Uh, but yeah, at the end, we are doing the same. So we want to make sure that particular view is doing the same job always when we are checking. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Then, uh, thank you for listening. And uh, yeah, if you have any other question, then you can mail to me or find me here and ask it. Yeah, it was maybe a bit quicker, but it should be. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's happened now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>